You say the word pollution and what probably comes to mind, industrial smog, smoke, diesel fumes. Well, it turns out indoor air can be worse than the air you breathe outdoors. 12 on your side's Marilyn Moritz looks at the common culprits and what you can do about it. New homes are more tightly sealed, which helps those heat and AC bills, but it can also mean more indoor pollutants. Where are they coming from? Gas stoves, for one. Tests show they can emit toxic gases. So what can you do? Think ventilation. Use your range hood every time you cook and open windows to get the fresh, clean air from the outside in. Other indoor pollutants are VOCs, or volatile organic compounds. They're emitted from cleaning agents, pesticides, aerosols, even couches and carpets. Carpets. Those can irritate throats and eyes and even make people sick. Whenever possible, avoid using harsh chemicals to clean your home. If you can't, again, think of ventilation, open windows and doors. It can help to buy mattresses and furniture that use natural fibers like cotton. Keep your home dust free using a vacuum with a HEPA filter and clean or change those AC filters. Something else that can help? An air purifier. These Allen, Winix, and Blue Air models got high marks in Consumer Reports tests and run between $275 and $750. Then there's mold, often caused by humidity. It can cause rashes and flu-like symptoms and irritate eyes and lungs. Consider a dehumidifier. Consumer Reports recommends models from Honeywell, Medea, and Home Labs. They run two to three hundred dollars. And finally, carbon monoxide. It can be deadly. Even if you don't have gas appliances, it's recommended to have a carbon monoxide detector on every level of your home. Marilyn Moritz, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.